One, two, three. Average failure. Good job, y'all. All right, what's good, y'all? Coach Vaughn here. In effect, we here at St. John's University on the track. It's been a while since I did a video that was on the track, right? But we back at it. Um, man, y'all will see the clips and everything. You know, uh, DJ Envy was here, spoke to some of the youth over here, man. It was about 1,200 elementary and junior high school students, man, who came out to this event. Um, and I was blessed to be uh, privileged to speak at it, man. We talked about Beyonce and uh, Beyonce and Lemonade, all right? And hopefully y'all get to see a clip of that. Uh, we spoke about Steph Curry and what it means to be a lion. We talked about uh, uh, a bunch of different things, man, and we're just inspiring. Hope that you all enjoy the video. Hope that you all enjoy the, best, the message. Remember, average is failure. Success is intentional. Character is legendary. We out here, we getting it. Um, man, yeah, we gonna inspire as many people as we can. I'll ask me. I want y'all to have the mentality of a lion. I want y'all to have the mentality of a lion. Now watch this. There's something that's dope about a lion that y'all gotta understand. So, so if you can name and name, let me ask you a question. Is a lion the fastest animal on land? Name an animal that's faster than a lion. A cheetah. Right? Now, now let me ask you another question. Is, is a lion the strongest animal? Name an animal that's stronger than a lion. An elephant, right? A bear probably, right? Somebody said the Hulk. <laughs> right? So, 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 so watch this. So, so the lion is not the fastest. The lion is not necessarily the strongest. The lion is not the biggest. The lion may not necessarily be the loudest, right? So what's the one thing that separates the lion from any other animal? Why do we consider, what do we consider the lion? The king of the what? The king of the jungle, why? Huh? No, we, watch this, watch this, pay attention. We consider a lion, uh, or, or a lion is the king of the jungle simply for one reason. He believes that he's the king of the jungle. So when he walks up in a place, like the lion's not tripping over who, who, who's watching, he's not tripping over whether cheetah's faster than him. Why? Because the cheetah don't got the same mentality that he has. Right? The, he's not tripping over the bear. Why? Because the bear don't got the same mentality as he has. The, the elephant don't got the same mentality as the, as the lion has. Right? That's why I love Stephen Curry so much. Once again, for y'all, I'm sorry, I'm a basketball fanatic, so I, I, I talk a lot about basketball. That's why I love Steph Curry so much. Why? Because he's not the fastest point guard. And he's not the strongest point guard either. Nor is he the biggest point guard. Right? Le and, and as a matter of fact, LeBron James is bigger than him, right? Uh, 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 Kobe, when you talk about the greatest Kobe Bryant, when you talk about the greatest Michael Jordan, the people that we put in those conversations, Westbrook, right? And watch this, we used to talk about Kevin Durant so much and nobody's really been talking about Kevin Durant like that over the past couple of years. Why? Because Steph Curry came through and because he had the mentality of the line, he was like, yo, I don't care if I'm not as tall as the rest of y'all, I'm gonna still come out here and dominate. Have it? <laughs> I hear you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. So, so, so understand that. Understand that. That 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 Steph Curry, right, is an example of a lion. Huh? He just blew up, and he's going for the kill. Now, watch this. Watch this. Because I also want you to understand that there's a mentality that Steph Curry has that you have to have. And watch this. Not only is Steph. There's a mentality that Steph Curry has to have because. If you understand anything, there's a difference between a pigeon and an eagle. How many of y'all have seen a pigeon before? How many of y'all have seen an eagle before? There's a difference between a pigeon and an eagle. And watch this, there's nothing wrong with being a pigeon, right? There's nothing wrong with being a pigeon, but a pigeon and an eagle, they keep like, uh, an eagle has to be careful of having a conversation with a pigeon. Because a pigeon, watch this, pigeons fly and they flap their wings, they gotta flap their wings like crazy to go wherever they gotta go. But if you've ever seen an eagle, an eagle can flap its wings like one time and just spread them out and just stay in the air for minutes and just soar through the air without flapping it again. And what a, what a, if an eagle and a pigeon have a conversation, the pigeon might tell the eagle, yo, it's not possible to flap your wings one time and be able to soar through the air. And this is the dangerous thing, right? When the pigeon says that, the pigeon is actually telling the truth. But the pigeon is telling the truth through the lens that the pigeon has, right? 
because the pigeon is only able to do one thing based on the skill, based on the, the, the body type that has been given. But watch this. An eagle has been designed to be able to accomplish something else. An eagle's been designed, watch this, watch this. If you put food on the ground, a pigeon will drop down and eat the food that you just placed right in front of it, right? We see that all the time in New York City. But if you put that same food in front of an eagle, an eagle's not gonna go after that food, why? Huh? No, no, watch this. The eagle is designed to hunt. The eagle is designed to hunt. So watch this, watch this. Because the eagle is designed to hunt, the eagle, if you pay attention to the eagle's vision, an eagle can see like two miles out and see its prey from like two miles out, right? Not only that, but it has a bigger, and it has bigger claws or talons, I guess it's technically called, and bigger um, uh, feet, why? Because the eagle is designed so that it can go after and pursue a prey, pick that thing up if it has to, kill it, right? Eat it, and then share it with the rest of his family. Pigeons ain't really concerned. Pigeons are like, yo, I'ma just chill. Like, all right, y'all humans, just throw some crumbs on the floor for me. I just, wanna, I just want some crumbs on what the pigeon is saying, right? So if an eagle, is, or you might be designed to be an eagle, but if you pay attention and try to do what a pigeon does, then all of a sudden you're going to limit yourself. And it's so amazing to me why, because Steph Curry was like, everybody else out, everybody out there can dunk, and if you watch ESPN, all the highlights used to be dunks, and all of a sudden once Steph Curry came on the scene, nobody even thought that much about him, and then all of a sudden, what, are, what kind of highlights we seeing on ESPN? It's Curry what, but Curry doing what? Shooting three-pointers. Right? Like crazy. Like, I remember one day played OKC and all of a sudden they took them into over, overtime and then all of a sudden he gets to the half court and he puts it up. And I said, Joe, you know what? That shot is going to go.